Hey, it's Scotty. I'm at Walmart to get some groceries and stuff, and I thought I would also go in and check and see what kind of pet supplies there are for guinea pigs. So let's check it out. Now, before I head to the pet section, I definitely have to stop by the produce. The staples that I usually go for are carrots, celery, cucumbers, and then of course a selection of different lettuces. They've also got parsley and radishes and other good things. So this is pine wood bedding. It's got a picture of a guinea pig on it, but it doesn't say it's kiln dried. So uh, they've got cedar, which absolutely you should never use. Aspen is fine, but it's really small. Carefresh, way more expensive than the wood bedding, the pine bedding. Um, I think in a pinch it would be okay, but I definitely wouldn't recommend using it long term. So what else do they have? This is uh, mini bales. It's a pretty expensive for just a little novelty thing. They've got all these treats like yogurt drops. Absolutely under no circumstances should you ever feed yogurt drops. They got like dried fruit. And what are these? These look promising. Uh, but if you look at the ingredients, it's just corn and alfalfa. So I would not recommend that. They got all these different treat sticks. They're just like seeds and like sweet things like honey. And these chew toys are totally pointless for guinea pigs. They might be okay for hamsters. Uh, this edible log, it's kind of like the snack shack. But I don't know if you can really hold hay in there. So let's see these pellets. Um, guinea pig pellets. What are the ingredients? Uh, it's wheat midlands and dried alfalfa meal, soybean, corn, definitely not good quality. I would not recommend that. And what about this wild harvest? Looks more expensive, but look at that. Soybean hulls. This is not, the first ingredient should be Timothy hay. And if you look at this one, it's got seeds in it, which you should not give guinea pigs. So it does have Timothy grass hay, but then soybean hulls, a lot of filler. These seeds, under no circumstances, they can get stuck in their throat, stuck in their teeth. Okay, this is a pretty expensive box of hay. But other than that, it looks, you know, decent quality hay. So there's a huge aisle here with not much good stuff. These bags of hay are decent, but way overpriced. I'd rather go to a feed store and get hay there. You can buy it by the bale. This is a perfect example right here of marketing to people. They put guinea pigs on the cover and it's just garbage. Look at this. Wheat, corn, sunflower seeds. This is not for guinea pigs. Under no circumstances should guinea pigs ever eat that. This is the face of disappointment. Not just disappointed that I can't find anything, but disappointed that they just have no idea what they're doing, what they're offering, and people who don't know what they're getting into, if they get this and feed this for their piggies, they're setting up a lifetime of horrible nutrition. Not just horrible nutrition, but illness. Okay, so what are my final thoughts? They have a really good selection of produce, and it's competitively priced and uh, they've got pretty much a good staple of greens like romaine lettuce, red leaf, green leaf, celery, carrots, cilantro, uh, parsley, and uh, these are also good things for you to eat. Um, but when it comes to the actual small pet section and the small pet uh, supplies, I'm very disappointed actually so the bedding is not kiln dried pine the aspen that they have is uh, really a small bag in a pinch in an emergency I guess you could use the the 
uh, pine bedding that they have, but it's not kiln dried, so I wouldn't want my piggies living on it for uh, the rest of their lives. Uh, cedar is just a horrible option. The fact that they even have cedar here, you know, and the fact that someone might mistakenly think that they can use it with their guinea pigs is just horrible. All of their pellet foods that they have are completely unacceptable. None of them were Timothy based. Um, they were all like wheat midlands, corn, and one of them had a little bit of alfalfa in there and soy, just not good. I'm like sitting in a line of ants here. <laughs> the one food that they did have that was the first ingredient was Timothy. Um, had little seeds in it, so that's a no-no. So basically, there are no pelleted food that I would recommend here. The only thing that they did have that I would recommend are the uh, bags of hay that they had, but it's so overpriced compared to the hay that you can get like at a feed store. Sometimes people will ask me, well, is this a good brand of hay? In my experience, hay is hay is hay. Um, you can see it through the bag so if it's green and it seems fresh then it's probably good it's usually a seasonal product so sometimes it's drier sometimes it's less green but hay is hay is hay so if it's timothy hay if it's orchard grass if it's a grass hay that's good the only hay that you wouldn't want to give to adult piggies would really be alfalfa and even short term it's okay just long term um, you want to give them a grass hay and alfalfa is legume hay so it, alfalfa is a legume. They also had yogurt drops and really sugary snacks that were marketed. You could see the guinea pig in the packaging and that just, no, no. it's just a no-no. It's just, so I'm really disappointed that they would actually market all the stuff that they shouldn't have and people who don't know any better uh, are gonna fall for it. So I'm really disappointed. Um, aside from the fresh produce, which I would recommend, there's nothing in the small pet aisle that I'd recommend. Well, that's going to do it. I hope you found this video helpful. I will put my entire care playlist right here. There's just so many videos here about guinea pig care. I really hope you'll dive into it and learn everything that I've learned volunteering at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. All right, until next time, thanks for watching.